Okay, hey, let me see that flag again. Hold on, let me just hook it. Beautiful.
represents everything, don't we? <laughs> it's history. See you back. Great, thank you.
Congressman Lee Zeldin into early retirement. And of course, welcome to all of you who came out today to the 2018 Women's March Rally. Power to the polls on Long Island. You know, it wasn't too long ago that the world seemed to be normal, right? We had hope and expectation. We thought things were starting to come around. And then the normal disappeared. And what seemed like a heartbeat and overwhelming ugliness came to the surface and everything changed. Whoa. No doubt about it, 2016 in November was a wake up call. Overwhelmed with shock and despair, people were forced to look in the mirror at their sense of social responsibility. And since then, millions have been propelled out to the streets, determined to turn our greatest nightmare into a movement of unity, strength, and change. And here we are today. Conscious, emboldened, and ready to rock. Today, culturally, electorally, and as a grassroots effort, women are the most important political force in the United States of America. assault basically every aspect of our lives. We have watched power being stolen right from under our noses by billionaires and corporations. And we have watched our democracy crumble. Every single day we wake up and think, what now? I believe November 2016 was the wake up call we've needed for a long time. And our response, historic. Last January's Women's March was the single largest protest in global history. We had a moment and it was stunning. Right here on this corner, that moment brought out thousands to stand together with the promise to turn things around. And as we continue to turn our moment into a movement, we need to continue looking in that mirror and ask ourselves every single day, how am I exercising my citizenship? How am I the change? What am I willing to do to realize the vision of equality, freedom, peace, and justice for all? This women's movement was not just about politics. It's about values and opportunity. And it's not a single issue movement. There is much work to be done. We know that all these changes get all these changes, we are dependent on one thing, and that is voter turnout. Yeah. Woo! We will turn up voter engagement for the November 
Hold on. Too far. Okay. Okay, here we go. Where are you? Here, ready? Okay, here we go. Good afternoon. Thank you, Shoshana. today or 52 weeks ago today exactly I went to Washington with my family to participate in the first women's march there it was awesome to travel to Washington DC with hundreds of thousands of people to be part of a crowd that absolutely dwarfed the crowd for Trump's inauguration thank you Shoshana Thank you everybody for being here. It is glorious to have to do a 360 in order to see all of you. And I have to like look way over your heads to see how far this whole thing stretches. All these, that's right, all these Democrats running to set this mess straight in Washington. That's right. And you might have heard that there's a scientist running for Congress here in our district. What do we think about a government that takes our hard-won knowledge and tries to erase it? Whoa. What do we think about a government that tells us what words we're allowed to use to solve problems? Whoa. What do we think about a government that thinks it can buy up all the news? Whoa. That's what I think too. 
I knew we'd be on the same page with that. So let's talk about women, okay? We're all here to celebrate our progress, to demand our progress, and to tell each other that, you know what, this is one of many more marches. Isn't there always going to be another one? Two days from now is a special anniversary. January 22nd is the 45th anniversary of the Roe versus Wade decision. We think of Roe v. Wade as a watershed. There was a before and an after. But if you were there in the 1960s, you knew that it was a march. You knew that along with the women, there were judges, lawyers, doctors, and other organizations trying to change those harmful laws. The laws needed to be changed and everybody had to work together, didn't they? Yeah. That was the story. Harmful laws harm everybody. That's why all of us are here running for Congress. How are we going to change those laws? Power to the polls. Yeah. And we're going to rock that vote. And you're also going to march for our petitions, by the way. Good for you. We need you. All of us need your help. I'm going to say something about voting. Last year was a centennial of women's suffrage here in New York. Women got the right to vote in New York. A little early, because New York's always sort of first, isn't it? So that was 100 years ago last year. There's a statue to commemorate women's suffrage. And if you've never seen this statue, I hope you get a look at it. Go online. It's the suffragette statue. It is a statue of Lucretia Mott and Elizabeth Cady Stanton and Susan B. Anthony. But if you look at that block of marble carved by Adelaide Johnson, by the way, and it was a gift, thanks, it was a gift to all, it was a gift from the American women presented by the National Women's Party to Congress in 1921. That's a long time ago. That block of marble has the three statues, but there's a fourth one in it. You see, those women knew it wasn't just about the harm of the, of the laws. When we talk about Roe versus Wade or women's, um, or violence against women, sometimes we have to tell people about all the pain and all the harm. We have to get our heads full of all the damage that was done. Or we get full of anger and grief over the damage that's been suffered by people. But then we come here not just because of harm, but because we understand heroes. And when Adelaide Johnson carved that statue of her heroes, of women's suffrage, there's a fourth piece of that marble. It's as tall as a figure. It it takes up the space of a figure, but it's rough. You can't see who it is. It's just a, a shape. That's us. That's our moment to be a hero. We're not telling us that we're a hero every day. You're a hero right now for this moment. Into that Who's got the power? We got the power. What kind of power? People power. I gotcha.